it's me, Brizzy, and this video is a tribute to one of my greatest voiceover inspirations, Grey Griffin, whom you may also know as Grey Delisle. She is one of the greatest voices of my childhood, probably yours also, and many more to come. She's not dead, okay? <laughs> Let me just clarify that. She's not dead, but this is a tribute to Grey and her work and her lovely characters. I'm gonna try to do impressions of some of her amazing characters over the years. She's got so many, so many great ones, so I'm just gonna attempt some of them, and uh, yeah, she's she's great. So she's gray. Tch. So this is for her. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Not like Fred. He's like one of those geniuses no one understands until they're dead. He sees things different, and he wants to catch those different things in his traps. You've been rendered completely helpless by a woman. Femme fatale. I'm the queen of corruption, the mistress of misdeeds, the dame of disaster. You. Be a good little boy and put the money in the bag. Clifford, remember when you were a puppy? I love reading stories together. You know, Clifford, for such a small dog, you sure are a big reader. <laughs> Wow, that kicks the crud out of my plan. Hey, everybody, except for Chester, Timmy, AJ, and the Boyle Kid. Party on my yacht! A week of detention for all of you. You for faking your show and tell. You two for going into the girls' bathroom. And you for trapping me in a toilet paper cocoon and promising two small boys they could enslave the earth. That's not right! I'll be right back. Ten-year-old jelly beans gets them every time. I can't just go and get teeth all willy-nilly. Well, they gotta be under a pillow. Chip Skylark! That changes everything! Who knows what evil someone could do with those teeth? <laughs> Billy, you're being stupid again. Now give me the scythe. Uh, Billy's mom? Did you know that Billy's life dream is to juggle chickens? Oh! No worries, I'll call my dad. Moshi Moshi Papa. Yeah, I need a few invites to the Emperor's Palace. Really? Do I have to? All right, all right. Whatever, I'm way deep into a game of Mind Creeper. Perhaps things can change after the war. But for now, the Republic needs you. And in the shadows of Coruscant. Coruscant? But most importantly in my heart, I will always love you. Until you kill 30 younglings. Then we're done. Come, Padawan. Your fall will be my ascension to the Sith. The dark side is strong in me, for I am Sith. I am Sith? Is that a thing that people say in the Star Wars universe? I am Sith? Anything else you want to blame me for? World hunger? The Ice Age? Puberty? What are you doing? Were you spying on me? You used your ghost powers to spy on me? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Are these Madame Foster's cookies? No way! Wake up! Get up! I need a Pink Palace cheeseburger, and I'm way too hungry to drive. And this afternoon, he knocked the dentures right out of my Aunt Susie. Together? You and I will be the strongest couple in the entire world. We will dominate the Earth! What ulterior motive could I have? What could I possibly gain? Unless somehow the Avatar was still alive. Nope, no idea what happened. So, you want me to help you study this weekend? Yes! Great! Okay! I mean, you know, if you want. Whatever. Una linterna! A flashlight! Me! De nada! <laughs> it's me! Una linterna! <laughs> the prince shall be mine! Out of my way, tomboy! Hello, Ivy. Oh, come on. They were just flowers, Ivy. I'll buy you some new ones. Ugh, come 
on, Red. See you later, Bane. Hopefully next time, you'll know how to talk to a lady. All the poor little things. Come on, Toto, come on. We'll go tell Uncle Henry and Annie M. Annie M. Annie M. <laughs> wow, you two look exactly alike. I mean, except for your clothes and your hair. And Perry's a bit more pale. But your noses are very similar. <gasps> You're right. We gotta show her around. Not yet. Now it's over. Yes, I am. No. Nope was me. You dare awake me, human? Welcome to the fog of lost souls. You will never escape. Sue, what are you doing home? You have so much potential. You're ruining your life. Just keep vacuuming. Just keep vacuuming. Twinkle tweet. My name is Gorney. Oh, Star, darling. What a pleasant surprise. Star, what is going on? Marco, you broke my skateboard. It's fine, Marco. I'll just live with it. <laughs> First day of school and I already learned something. Spider ants do not like it when you fall on them. <laughs> Want to pick bugs out of each other's hair and share all our secrets? My secret is I just made a new best friend. You. <laughs> you know what? I think that'll do. I think that'll do. Obviously, this is only a smidgen of Olive Gray's amazing, beautiful characters that she has brought to life because she's just that wickedly talented. And obviously, I could never, you know, you know what I'm saying. I cannot replace Gray. No one can replace Gray. She is perfect and her characters are perfect. And this was not an attempt to, like, show that I can do what she does or anything like that. It's just a tribute to her and her amazing characters. So I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, go follow Gray on Twitter. Boom, boom, boom. Tell her how great she is, how gray she is. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if there are any other voice actors you'd like me to do this for. Preferably voice actresses, cause you know, that's a little more my range being a female myself. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys next video. Bye.